Where's Mitra at? He's down here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I survived that. Look at me. I'll save you. Oh. <laughs> you you literally backed up onto that tomahawk. Oh my. Talk about backing up into trouble. <laughs> my name is Ernest Lee, dude, guy, man, bro, whatever. This is a ground war domination game on Zoo. Probably the one of the worst maps in the new map pack for domination. And, uh, well, for ground war domination, that is. Actually, for domination, I don't like Zoo for that. It's good for search, good for other game types. Um, domination, the spawns. Actually, in a lot of the spawn in the games, it seems like. Uh, in a lot of the new maps, actually, it seems like they purposely made all the spawns. Like, we were playing, trying to play demo, me and Steve. We were like, yeah, we're going to try to get kill fees for the Nader challenge. Uh, but the demolition spawns are really effed up, really not static. Poop! Get shit on. Um, and, like, they, they will switch on dom or demolition, which is, like, completely unheard of. They're really, really touchy, and if you get too far, they will scream like a child. No, they will move, and uh, it, it's frustrating. It's like, like for instance, we were playing on jungle, and you can trap on uh, offense uh, in the swamp. That guy got pooped on. Don't ever go AFK. Um, pretty easily. And uh, you were playing on convoy, and if you go too far in the back where the uh, field or that little grassy area is, it switches spawns to the hotel. So it's just like, eh. Well, I don't know where this commentary is going. Um, anyway, this is a gameplay on Zoo. I already said that with the Kiparis. Kip, 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 Kiparis, Kiparis. Every time I say the Kiparis, I think of Kip Kinkle, and that's not a good word or person to say. That's the dude who killed people. I don't know. You guys can Google it. I don't want to talk about that. That's sad. Sad news. Um, I got that from Champ Chong. Um, what was I going to get in that? Uh, there's okay, lots of tomahawks in this gameplay. I think I already got like three. I think I get like 15 or 20 to be honest. Um, kind of sort of a mini montage of tomahawks in my own little commentary. Um, some of them are nice. Some of them are like, dude, you better get that. Um, and some of them are kind of just like, what the fuck? Like this one. I think it's this one. This one. Get out of there. Mine. Um, and so yeah, I just wanted to point that out. I don't know how many I get exactly. You guys can count them. But uh, anyway, some some updates, some quick talk, talking topics. Um, Duke Nukem comes out tomorrow, and as expected, as I tweeted uh, last week, it did not get good reviews, as expected, like I just said. Um, and I already knew that. I mean, I didn't even have to play the demo to know that the game was not going to be good. Apparently, the game has been in development for 12 years, which isn't exactly true. I mean, it was. Uh, announced 12 years ago that they were going to make it so it hasn't really been on and off I mean it hasn't been really been in production for 12 years and that's what people think that's like one of those things where people bend the words you say to mean something else um that's so that isn't entirely true but anyway uh the game basically runs the reviews say and I've played the demo and I will agree with what I've played with or touched um Based off the demo, of course, that uh, the game is not very up to date. It took, that guy got pooped on, it took literally a minute and a half from when I died on the second map on the demo to reload uh, my spawn point. And I sat there and I honestly thought my Xbox blew up or froze or was getting hacked because I had no idea. I was like, what? what is going on? Like, I didn't restart, but I just sat there. I was like, da -da -da, and the icon was still spinning, so you know it's loading. But uh, uh, the graphics are like okay. I mean, I mean not okay. I mean they're they're not great, but I mean they're not like something to bitch about. Uh, but many people will probably find something to complain about the graphics with that anyway. Um, but for the most part, like I wasn't blown away, and I said that before because you know with with any um, game like that, especially since it's it's more of hype because of the name, not because of the features that you've heard of about it. Um, you know, like you obviously know, and I play, I buy a lot of games. Well, actually, I did 
or I do sometimes. But um, point is, what I'm trying to say is that I have been in the market and played games long enough to understand when something is actually going to be good and when something is um, talked about enough that people think it's going to be good and it really isn't. Um, Duke Nukem was and has always been ever since I have heard of it coming out or being re-released or whatever you want to say um, I've always known and had this impression it's like okay it's gonna be one of those games like yeah cool they're making it again but it's not going to be like a groundbreaking game it's not gonna make people uh, that guy got pooped on that's my flag get off that um, it's not gonna make people go oh my god have you guys played Duke Nukem like and it's just it sounds really cocky for me to say that but from my experience like I never read anything about Duke Nukem um, before, past now. Uh, wow, I got that guy's toe. Um, regarding the 360 release, that said that like, it was going to be great. And just from that in itself, I, I just like you just know. It's kind of like um, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> compared to like Medal of Honor. When Medal of Honor came out on the 360, it was not talked about a lot. You didn't know a lot of the features about it. That guy, that's my flag. Get off of that. Um, you know, you didn't know what was unique about it. You didn't know what was you what you could expect of it. You just heard three months before that it was coming out, and people were like, "Oh, cool! It's a household name," or it was. But uh, you just have this feeling, and that's what I always get with a lot of games that come out now. You're just like, that game is probably decent to good at at best and thread the needle get shit on um and i mean that by like a score of five to like seven or eight and you know and also that kind of pertains to homefront homefront came out before it came out i hadn't haven't even heard of hadn't even heard of homefront till like a month and a half before and i was like talking to jimmy about this and and i think some other people um i was like or a uh, peacekeeper i was like hey you guys getting homefront and i think jimmy was like what the fuck is homefront and I was like, dude, yeah, you never heard of it? It's like one, just one of those things. You get like this ill, not ill, you get this um, instinct, instinctual, that sounds very sexual. You just get this feeling, and you just say, yeah, I know, I, I can tell. And, you know, with Duke, Duke Nukers, that's how I feel, and I, w I correctly predicted it. And I'm not saying Homefront's a bad game, of course, because it actually ended up being a pretty good game. Just not well accepted by people because a lot of people are fast paced shooter douchebag uh, wannabe stereotype tyro several stereotype assists. That's not even a word. I just made that up. But uh, point is, it, it didn't have a, a feature to it besides dedicated servers that people were drawn to. If you look up Homefront video on uh, YouTube, like NASA one said, if you guys don't know him, watch this. Oh my god, shit on. Um, if you look at Homefront on YouTube, NASA one was like, you only see NASA's name and Steve Schwinn's name. And Steve didn't doesn't even get a ton of videos. I love you, Steve. Not bashing. I'm just saying. Like, he doesn't get a ton of views on his videos is what I mean. So you just know that it's just not well accepted for whatever reason. And I honestly personally like Homefront. I'm going on a Homefront uh, tear right now. I don't know why I'm talking about this. But point is, Duke Nukem's coming out tomorrow. I was going to get it. I might get it. We'll see what happens. But I'll wait till it drops probably. I mean, a 5 out of 10 by IGN. You know, a 7 out of 10 by IGN review scale rating. I'd be like, ah, uh, you know, whatever. But a 5 out of 10 is really saying something about, like, you know, this game sucks balls. This game is get tomahawked in the face. This game is not very good. So. Don't get Duke Nukem, I would honestly say, because it doesn't seem to be. I, I mean, I can't honestly say, for instance, I like to try things on my own, but uh, I like to try things. Um, but I'm just giving my my advice. This is earnestly. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment, rating, suggestion, whatever.